The people of China finally saw their president in public. Xi Jinping has been vocal but not visible during this outbreak. This afternoon, he decided to visit this community in Beijing. A family's worst nightmare came true when their son was diagnosed with a rare, life-threatening disease, and no one could help. Desperate for a miracle and with nowhere else to turn, they did the unthinkable. They reached out to the president of China for help. And what happened next shocked the entire world. But how did the president respond to their cry for help? What action did he take that made this story go viral worldwide? Join us as we delve into this heart-wrenching story that captured the attention of millions. You don't want to miss this. The hopeless situation. Michael and his wife Sarah sat by their son Oliver's bed in a cold, quiet hospital room. The room was filled with the sounds of beeping machines, but to them, everything fell silent. Oliver, their little boy, was very sick. His body was weak and he lay still, connected to tubes and wires. The doctors had tried every treatment they could think of, but nothing worked. Now, they were left with one final option, palliative care. It was a word that meant there was no cure or care to keep Oliver comfortable in his last days. Michael sat next to his son, holding his small, limp hand. He watched Oliver's breath, knowing each one could be his last. His heart felt heavy like it was breaking. His son, once full of life and energy, was slipping away, and there was nothing he could do to stop it. Sarah sat on the other side of the bed, her eyes red from crying, staring at the machines as if waiting for a miracle. The room felt empty, not just because of the plain white walls and bright lights, but because of the deep sadness that filled the air. Michael felt lost. The doctors had told them to prepare for the worst. He thought about all the memories they had shared with Oliver. His first laugh, his first time riding a bike, all the little moments that seemed so far away now. Michael tried to stay strong, but the weight was crushing him. He had never felt so powerless. They had tried everything, but nothing worked. There was no cure for Oliver's illness, no more treatments, no more hope. Or was there? Eventually, as days passed in the hospital, hope began to fade for Michael and Sarah. Their son, Oliver, showed no signs of getting better, and the doctors had already told them there was nothing more they could do. The family felt trapped, their world closing in as they watched their boy slip further away. Michael, sitting by Oliver's bedside, felt utterly helpless. He couldn't stand the thought of losing his child, but they had tried everything, and nothing had worked. One evening, all one could hear were the sounds of the machines that filled the room, but Michael's mind raced. He thought about all the treatments they had tried, all the doctors they had seen, but there had to be something more. There had to be someone, somewhere, who could help. That's when a wild idea crossed his mind, a thought that seemed outrageous, but it felt like the only option left in that moment of desperation. Michael turned to Sarah and said, what if we reach out to someone powerful, someone who can really make a difference? Michael thought for a moment, then said something that shocked her. What if we contact the president of China? No doubt, it seemed like an impossible idea. But the idea was conceived due to what Michael had seen online one night. Late one night, after another exhausting day at the hospital, Michael found himself scrolling mindlessly through social media, he wasn't really looking for anything, just trying to distract his mind from the reality of his son's illness. Michael's heart was heavy with fear and sorrow, but he couldn't stop hoping for a miracle. As he scrolled through videos and news clips, one caught his eye, a speech by the president of China. It wasn't what Michael usually watched, but something about it drew him in. In the video, the Chinese president talked about his commitment to helping terminally ill children. He spoke with passion about the importance of giving every child a chance, no matter how difficult their situation. The president mentioned medical advancements and how China was pushing the boundaries of science to try and save those who had been given no hope. Michael's heart started racing as he listened. He had never imagined reaching out to someone so high up, but now the idea didn't seem so crazy. After all, they had tried everything else, and Oliver was getting worse by the day. 
Michael felt a wave of doubt, but the more he thought about it, the more he realized he had nothing to lose. Maybe, just maybe, this was the miracle he had been praying for. With his heart pounding and hands shaking, Michael grabbed his phone and started writing. He didn't know how to begin but knew he had to try. He started typing a message, pouring his heart out, explaining their situation, and begging for help. He wrote about Oliver's illness, their failed treatments, and how they were running out of time. His words were filled with emotion, fear, hope, and desperation as he explained that he was reaching out as a last attempt, hoping for anything that could save his son. As he wrote, tears filled his eyes. This was his last shot, his final plea for help. Michael hit the send button with a deep breath and without much hesitation. For him, it was a moment of pure vulnerability, sending a message to one of the most influential leaders in the world, hoping beyond hope that he would listen. Michael didn't know what would happen next, but he felt a spark of hope for the first time in a long time. Maybe, just maybe, the president would hear his plea. Perhaps this would be the moment that changed everything for his family. And as the hours passed, Michael sat by Oliver's bed, waiting. Little did he know, this message would soon go viral, capturing the attention of millions. But this is where you find out if they received a positive response. What do you think? Let's find out. The President's Response Days passed after Michael sent his heartfelt message to the President of China, Xi Jinping. He didn't expect much. After all, what were the chances that a world leader would even see his plea, let alone respond? But for Michael, this was his last hope. Every day, as he sat by Oliver's hospital bed, he would check his phone, just in case. He couldn't shake the small glimmer of hope that someone might somehow read his message and help his son. Then, one afternoon, something happened that Michael never expected. His phone buzzed with a notification, but this wasn't just any message. It was an official email from a representative of the Chinese government. Michael's hands shook as he opened it, his heart pounding. The email was brief, but the message was clear. The president had read his plea and was moved by the family's situation. He wanted to help. Michael could hardly believe what he was reading. The president of China, one of the most influential people in the world, had seen his message and was willing to get involved. He wondered what had made him take notice of a tiny family in such a big world. However, the answer was in the president's own words. He had always been a strong advocate for children's health care, especially for those facing terminal illnesses. The president had spoken many times about giving every child a fighting chance, no matter where they came from. When he read about Oliver's story, it struck a chord with him. He saw not just a sick child, but a chance to make a difference to save a life and show the world that hope can come from the most unexpected places. But more than that, the president understood the weight of a parent's love. He had his own children, and he knew the lengths any parent would go to save their child. Michael's plea wasn't just a desperate cry for help, it was a reflection of every parent's worst fear, losing a child. The president felt a personal connection to that fear, which moved him to act so he quickly set the wheels in motion. First, he contacted China's top medical experts, asking them to review Oliver's case. These were some of the best doctors and scientists in the world, with access to cutting-edge treatments and technology that wasn't available anywhere else. The president ordered them to look into every possible option, whether experimental or costly. But as if that was not enough. The president went on to do something that Michael described as extraordinary. One evening, as Michael sat by Oliver's bed, his phone rang. The caller ID showed an international number, and for a moment he hesitated, but something inside him told him to pick it up. On the other end of the line was a representative from the Chinese government. They explained that President Xi Jinping had received Michael's message and had been deeply moved by his story. What came next surprised Michael. The president wanted to speak with them directly. Michael's heart raced. He had never imagined this kind of response. Speaking with President Xi Jinping felt surreal, but at that moment, all he cared about was his son and the possibility of help. 
A few hours later, the phone rang again. This time, it was the president. Michael could hardly believe it as he heard the calm, authoritative voice of Xi Jinping on the other end of the line. The president spoke slowly, choosing his words carefully. He introduced himself and said he had been deeply touched by Michael's letter. He acknowledged the unbearable pain of watching a child suffer and said he wanted to offer his support. Holding back tears, Michael thanked the president for taking the time to speak with him. He explained Oliver's condition, how the doctors had done everything they could but had reached the point where they could no longer offer hope for a cure. Xi Jinping listened intently, his compassion clear in his tone when he said, I understand that you have tried everything, and I can feel how much you love your son. I want to do whatever I can to help, even to ensure Oliver's remaining days are as peaceful as possible. Michael was overwhelmed. He had expected nothing more than perhaps a polite reply from an assistant, but here was the president of China, offering genuine support. Xi Jinping explained that he had spoken to some of the top doctors in China, and that while Oliver's condition was severe, he would do everything he could to ensure the family had access to the best care available. President Xi Jinping promised to arrange for a medical team to review Oliver's case, and even though the chances of a cure were slim, he wanted to ensure that Oliver was as comfortable as possible. He also spoke of sending palliative care specialists who could work with the hospital to make Oliver's final days as peaceful and pain-free as they could be. His concern wasn't just for Oliver's health, but for the entire family's emotional well-being. At that moment, Michael felt a sense of relief wash over him. While he knew there might not be a cure for his son, the fact that someone as powerful as President Xi Jinping was willing to step in to offer help and compassion made him feel less alone. It wasn't just about the medical help. The kindness and acknowledgement of their suffering made all the difference. As the call continued, Sarah joined Michael, and the president spoke to both of them, expressing his deepest sympathy for their situation. He reassured them that they would have the full support of the Chinese government in making sure Oliver's last days were filled with as much love and comfort as possible. What's more? Before ending the call, Xi Jinping made one final promise. No matter what happens, please know that you have touched my heart. Oliver's story is now a part of me, and I will follow it closely. My team will remain in contact with you, and we will help however we can. Eventually, when the call ended, Michael and Sarah sat in stunned silence. They couldn't believe what had just happened. The president of China, one of the most influential people in the world, had spoken with them personally, offering not only help, but also emotional support in their darkest hour. The days that followed were full of activity. True to his word, President Xi Jinping's team worked swiftly. They coordinated with the hospital's doctors, ensuring that Oliver's care was improved. Specialized equipment and medication were provided to keep him comfortable, and a palliative care team was flown in to assist. Even though the president knew that Oliver's condition was dire, he wanted to ensure that the boy and his family would experience moments of comfort and happiness, even in the hardest of times. President Xi first arranged for Oliver to be moved to a private, cozy room in the hospital. The room was unlike the cold, sterile space they had been in before. It was warm, with soft lighting and calming colors. There were comfortable chairs for Michael and Sarah to sit in, and Oliver's bed was now covered with soft blankets. Small touches like this made the space feel less like a hospital and more like a peaceful resting place. This room wasn't just about medical care, but about creating an environment where the family could feel peace during such a difficult time. But President Xi didn't stop there. He knew how important it was to lift Oliver's spirits and his parents' spirits, so he quietly organized something even more special. His team arranged for a small celebration just for Oliver. It wasn't a grand event, but precisely what the family needed. The celebration was simple but filled with thoughtfulness. There were balloons in Oliver's favorite colors, small gifts, and even a cake. The hospital staff, who had grown close to the family, joined the celebration. They gathered around with smiles, sharing in this rare moment of happiness. The room was filled with laughter and warmth for the first time in a long while. And then, something magical happened. 
Oliver smiled. It was the first smile Michael and Sarah had seen from him in what felt like forever. Seeing their son happy, even for just a brief moment, brought tears to their eyes. For that one afternoon, the weight of their pain seemed to lift, even if just a little. In that cozy room, surrounded by the love and care arranged by President Xi Jinping, they felt a glimmer of joy that they hadn't experienced in a long time. President Xi Jinping succeeded in providing something priceless, hope and relief, even if it was just for a short time. As the day ended and the celebration wound down, Michael and Sarah sat by Oliver's bedside, feeling a sense of peace they hadn't felt in months. The smile on Oliver's face reminded them that even in the most challenging moments, kindness and compassion could create joy. And for that, they will forever be grateful to President Xi Jinping. But what if I tell you that more than the medical support, the family was moved by the outpouring of kindness and love worldwide? The story goes viral. Within hours of the post being shared across social media, people worldwide began sharing Michael's message. And soon, the story of Oliver's battle and President Xi Jinping's involvement was going viral. Word of the president's participation spread quickly, and soon, people from around the world reached out to the family, sending messages of love, support, and prayers. Michael and Sarah were overwhelmed by the global response. People couldn't believe a world leader had stepped in to help one family in their darkest hour. It was a story of hope, courage, and compassion. And just as expected, the story quickly caught the media's attention. Journalists began reaching out to Michael and Sarah, wanting to know more about their experience. News outlets from different countries started covering the story, highlighting how President Xi Jinping had personally stepped in to help a dying child and his family. Headlines were filled with phrases like, President Xi's compassionate act, and a father's desperate plea, answered by a world leader. As the media coverage grew, so did the response from people worldwide. The hashtag hash hope for Oliver started trending online, and thousands of people joined in the conversation. Some shared their own stories of struggles with illness. In contrast, others were inspired by the idea that even in difficult times, acts of kindness could make a huge difference. People from all walks of life started rallying behind the family. Donations began pouring in, with some offering financial support to help cover medical costs and others sending small gifts or notes of encouragement. Communities formed online, united by the desire to help Oliver and his family through unimaginable pain. Artists drew pictures of Oliver, while musicians dedicated songs to him. Some people even began organizing events in their local areas to raise awareness for families like Oliver's, who were fighting battles against terminal illness. But what made this story go viral wasn't just the tragedy of a young boy's illness. It involved President Xi Jinping. The idea that a world leader would take time out of his busy schedule to help a family in need resonated with millions. People saw it as a powerful example of what leadership should be, not just about politics or power, but about showing empathy and compassion, especially to those who need it the most. President Xi Jinping's actions sparked a global conversation. Many people began discussing the role of world leaders and whether more should be done to help families facing medical crises. Others shared stories of how small acts of kindness changed their lives. The story wasn't just about Oliver anymore. It had grown into something much bigger, a symbol of hope and the power of human connection. As the story continued to spread, more and more media outlets covered it. Major news channels interviewed Michael and Sarah who spoke about the overwhelming support they were receiving. They talked about how President Xi Jinping had given them a sense of peace in a time of chaos and how the community that had rallied around them had made them feel less alone in their struggle. The outpouring of love from people they had never met touched the family. Every message, every donation, and every shared story lifted their spirits. It made them feel like they were part of something bigger, they were no longer just a family facing a tragic situation. They were at the center of a global movement about compassion, kindness, and hope. Meanwhile, President Xi Jinping's name became even more prominent in the conversation. His involvement in the story was praised by people worldwide,
with many seeing him as a leader who truly cared about his people and their well-being. The story had turned into a global sensation, not just because of Oliver's brave fight, but because of the president's unexpected, heartfelt response. The more the story spread, the more people wanted to get involved. Social media platforms were flooded with posts from people who had been moved by the story. And soon, it wasn't just individuals reaching out, it was entire organizations. Charities began offering support to families going through similar situations, and medical professionals from around the world started discussing how they could provide better care for terminally ill children. Oliver's story had become more than just a viral sensation. It sparked conversations about healthcare, leadership, and the importance of community. It showed the world that there is always room for kindness and compassion, even in the darkest times. President Xi Jinping's involvement has inspired millions, proving that no act of kindness is too small and that even the most powerful people in the world can make a difference in the lives of ordinary families. As the story grew, Michael and Sarah were overwhelmed with gratitude. They had started out feeling completely alone, facing the unimaginable pain of losing their son. But now, thanks to President Xi Jinping's kindness and the support of people worldwide, they feel surrounded by love and hope, and they would carry that with them for the rest of their lives. Though Michael and Sarah knew their time with their son was running out, they clung to every moment they had left. Despite the sadness that hung over them, that room also had an incredible sense of love. Thankfully, President Xi Jinping remained in contact with the family and offered ongoing support. He knew that little could be done to save Oliver. Still, he wanted to ensure the family felt cared for during this heartbreaking period. Every day, a member of his team checked in on them, providing comfort and any resources they might need. President Xi ensured they never felt alone, even though they were going through one of the most challenging moments of their lives. As the days passed, Oliver's health continued to decline. He grew weaker, and his once bright eyes were now exhausted. But through it all, Michael and Sarah stayed by his side, holding his hand, speaking softly to him, and trying to make every moment count. President Xi Jinping's team ensured Oliver's room was peaceful and quiet, where he could rest comfortably and be surrounded by the people who loved him the most. Even though President Xi was thousands of miles away, his presence was felt in the room. Michael and Sarah still couldn't believe that someone so powerful had taken such a personal interest in their son's life. Knowing that President Xi cared about Oliver and was doing everything he could to support their family, brought them a sense of peace. President Xi Jinping and the global community have undoubtedly given the family a sense of closure. They knew they had done everything they could for their son and shared his final moments wrapped in love, not just from their family, but from people worldwide. In his final days, Oliver was surrounded by love, not just from his family, but from people around the globe who had been touched by his story. And though his life was short, it had a meaning at the end. That brings us to the end of this video. Share your thoughts about President Xi's involvement in Oliver's case. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Also, click on the following video. You will enjoy it.